Today on ExtremeSFX.com, we are going to show you how to transform yourself or a friend into a vampire lord of the underworld. To do this, you will need a few things. Foam latex vampire prosthetic, alcohol, spirit gum, spirit gum remover, black eyeliner, rubber mask grease makeup in corpse flesh, special dark, and white, translucent powder, vampire fangs, and stage blood. You will also need a variety of makeup tools like brushes, makeup sponges, a stipple sponge, and Q-tips. Start with clean, unmoisturized skin. Any type of moisture or oil can cause the prosthetic to not stick as well. We use toner to cleanse the skin. Check the fit of the prosthetic on the face and take note of where the edges of the prosthetic sit. You don't want the prosthetic to be too close to the eyes and you will also need to know where to apply the spirit gum. There should be a nice, thin, ragged edge around the prosthetic. But if there is too much foam, you can remove the excess by pinching it off. Don't cut off the excess foam and be careful about taking too much off. Both of these can leave you with a hard, thick edge that will make it even more difficult to blend the prosthetic seamlessly into the skin. Before you apply the prosthetic, clean out any powder residue from the inside with alcohol. This will help the prosthetic to stick better. You will be using spirit gum to glue the prosthetic onto the face. The most manageable way to work with the spear gum is to glue small areas at a time, working from the center of the prosthetic outward. We began by brushing spear gum onto the nose and inner eye area of the face with a flat, square brush. If your bottle of spear gum comes with a brush, it's perfectly fine to use that, or even a Q-tip will work. Do not apply the spear gum too close to the eyes or in the eyebrows. Tap the spear gum on the face with your finger till it is tacky. This is what activates the adhesive. For extra hold, you can also apply a layer of spirit gum directly onto the prosthetic. Lay the prosthetic onto the face, making sure you have the nose lined up correctly and pressed firmly. Continue the process of applying spirit gum to small areas at a time, tapping till tacky and pressing the prosthetic firmly onto the adhesive. You can also carefully lift that section of the prosthetic off of the spirit gum and press back on repeatedly till it becomes tacky and doesn't lift easily anymore. Apply spirit gum to any loose edges of the prosthetic. Use a brush handle or your fingers to press the prosthetic onto the face repeatedly till the spirit gum becomes tacky and the edges lie flat. The smoother you can get the edges of the prosthetic to lie, the more realistic your makeup will look. Using translucent powder and an eyeshadow brush, powder the edges of the prosthetic and any areas that any spirit gum is showing. This will make the exposed spirit gum not sticky. Brush off any excess powder. For the male vampire makeup, you will be using rubber mask grease makeup in special dark, corpse flesh, and white. Begin the makeup by applying special dark to all of the areas of the face and prosthetic you want to be the very darkest and deep set. We filled in the creases in the prosthetic and the inner eye area using an angle brush so we could create sharp, fine lines. We also hollowed out under the cheekbones and helped to connect the prosthetic to the face by applying the special dark under the prosthetic cheekbones, blending down onto the face. Once you have the darkest areas defined, apply corpse flesh to the full prosthetic, face, eyes, ears, and neck, avoiding the areas where there is special dark. If you have facial hair that you can see through to the skin, 
don't forget to put makeup there too. Carefully start blending the edges of the two colors together, continuing to define the face and prosthetic, giving it a hollow and gaunt look. Add more detail with a special dark as you go along, adding more depth where needed. Shadow the temples and under the jawline using the special dark. You can bring the forehead creases out onto the face to better help connect the prosthetic to the face. To create even more dimension and to add a bit of texture, we used a stipple sponge with special dark, corpse flesh, and white rubber mask grease makeup. Go back and forth between the colors, stippling the corpse flesh lightly over the edges of any special dark areas and bringing the special dark slightly out onto the corpse flesh to create a textured blend. Stipple the white lightly over all the highest points of the prosthetic and face to make them pop and add definition. You can also continue the makeup down onto the neck by stippling the special dark onto the recessed areas of the neck and highlighting around that with the white. To set the cream makeup, pat translucent powder onto the face. You can use a powder brush like we did or use a powder puff. Either works just as well. What is important is to start by pressing more powder than you think you will need onto the face. Then carefully brush away the excess. You don't want to smudge the makeup by brushing over it before it is set. Line the tops and bottoms of the eyes with black eyeliner and apply mascara to the lashes. This will give definition to the eyes. If you have facial hair, which is now coated in makeup, Clean the makeup off using a disposable mascara wand and alcohol. Spray the wand with alcohol and repeatedly brush the hair with it, wiping the brush off on a paper towel as it picks up the makeup. Using a lip brush, apply special dark to the lips. Complete your vampire character by adding a pair of the Lestat contact lenses and a set of the Scarecrow Saber fangs. Stage blood or blood gel is also a nice finishing touch. You can purchase all of the products used in this video at ExtremeSFX.com. If you enjoyed this tutorial, like, share, comment, and check out ExtremeSFX.com to see more awesome characters.